Hi everyone uh, and uh, welcome. I'm Natalia Bershnikova from Atlassian. I'm here with my friend Christian Kelly from Accenture. And uh, today we're going to talk to you about a topic that's top of mind for many people. We're going to talk about enterprise agility and why is it hard and how can you use best practices to drive a customer-centric mindset. So let's talk about what's so difficult about enterprise agility because it is hard and there are all these challenges that organizations are trying to solve. So today we want, we want to share what we find so hard about uh, changing enterprises and driving transformation. So the next thing that uh, we wanted to cover today is playbook challenges. And uh, there are many great playbook, playbooks out there and uh, new playbooks keep popping up. Yeah. Many organizations are uh, so sophisticated that they develop their own unique playbooks that are unique to them, uh, which is great because it, it, it makes the playbooks really, really business aware. But uh, it still sometimes does not solve the problem. And what often happens, people are embarking on a transformation journey and then they say, oh, no, this playbook is the problem. It doesn't work for us. But in reality, um, why that happens is usually, again, people lose the sight of why and they over index on the how uh, and they don't think about how will this framework work for us according to our business needs and our goals mm -hmm. and then they blame the framework or they blame the tools and uh, that's uh, a huge challenge out there so what do you see commonly when people um, kind of create this noise around playbooks what can go wrong with uh, figuring out which playbook can be right for you as a business i think they in many playbooks they select a portion of it and deselect the mm -hmm. other things. They lose the context. So the famous story that I have is there is a lot of IT companies that are going through transformations. And I've been asked, uh, I don't know, tens of times to come in and tell me why company X does what they do or how they do it, not why, mm -hmm. not the context of why they do it, not the culture, but like, tell me the how and give me the prescriptive guidance on how they do it. And what gets lost in that is the context of the why. Mm -hmm. What was the business driver for them adopting a certain process mm -hmm. or adopting a certain way of working? And when you don't deeply understand that, it's the same as we were talking about before with the customer journey in that you actually have to understand the context because otherwise you could just start implementing selectively the playbook, mm -hmm. some playbook that you don't really understand mm -hmm. and you don't get the value out of it. So of course it's the playbook's problem, yeah. right? Yeah. And I see that over and over again with customers and you can tell immediately when the only focus mm -hmm. is business value, mm -hmm. coming back to our key theme here, when there's not a downstream focus on customer value, mm -hmm. you tend to have playbooks sort of come and go mm -hmm. because it didn't solve the problem. It didn't solve the problem, yeah. And one thing that I've learned from you and working closely uh, with each other is actually focusing on the proof of value. So yes. when you're thinking about implementing a playbook, you really have to ask those hard questions. How will I know that this playbook is right for me? Or how will I, as an organization, be using that playbook? And how will I know that I'm successful? And That's thinking right. about how do you measure this? What is the time horizon over which you need to achieve certain outcomes that you can measure? And again, evaluate whether it's successful for you or not. Those are some of the hard questions that folks sometimes you know, don't ask uh, enough or early right. enough. Uh, and then they discover that playbook actually doesn't do whatever they were intending it to do. Well, and I think there's a complexity to it as well. And you and I have been in multiple discussions where that proof of value may come from three different areas. Mm -hmm. It may come from something that you are doing to drive a business value internally, mm -hmm. something that you're doing to drive a customer value, That's and right. something that you're driving as an employee value at the same time. Mm -hmm. And having being very prescriptive on the timing mm -hmm. and moving all of those metrics mm -hmm is critical it's a helpful constraint because yes. you have to create constraints to you know your initial scope and then evaluate and move quickly if it doesn't work for you 